what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel all right so today i have a quick short video for you guys and it's basically on the forerunner now what we're going to be doing today is pretty much resetting the vac or vsc and traction control off lights that keep coming out of my car after i plugged in a newer obd2 scanner now i normally have i used one scanner for the past year almost two years that was called a blue driver now it's a little digital scanner pretty much if it's just works with your phone you get a lap and it works perfectly fine i actually did a review on it have the link right up here if you guys want to check that video out but i decided to get a newer one it's called carly and it's supposed to be more advanced you could actually write codes with it and things like that um just a little more advanced one problem being with that new one since it is newer and more advanced and it's got updated software you could say it doesn't work very well with the forerunner being a 2003 the system for the forerunner, the OBD2 system on this car, is, is an ISO system. Now, from 2005, or I believe 2004, 2005 actually, Toyota switched it to a CAN system, which is pretty much kind of like saying digital radio to analog radio, how it used to be for how everything got switched to digital. So, in, in a sense, I'm not saying that's exactly what it is, so don't go ahead and kill me in the comments, but pretty much what it is. It, it's the same connector. But the values that come out of the connectors are different in the value it reads out. So what happens is when you put a brand new scanner, especially something like that, that kind of is over the air connected, it freaks the system out. And now you have these lights on. Now, if you have these lights on and a check engine light on at the same time, that means there's something else going on. There is a ABS um, sensor or, tra or vehicle speed sensor, whatever you want to call it. That may be bad or something else is causing that issue. Normally, only when you have the VS and traction off lights come on and this is when you basically come on when you put it in gear and start to drive that's the only time they come on and even if you scan it you have no check engine codes that's the only time that you're going to try this method of resetting now you can reset this also by using a obd2 reader that can read abs systems i have one of those but i'm going to show you guys because not everyone has an obd2 scanner at home just sitting around but i'm going to show you guys how to do this with just some paper clips now before i go ahead and continue to show you how to do this Again, I want to really, if you guys have a check engine light, make sure you get that fixed first because if you have a check engine light due to a AB, ABS system failure or some other system failure that can cause both systems to come on, this is not going to work for it. You have to get that other issue fixed first. This is only if you have this because either your battery died and it lost communication with the system or something like that or like me, you hooked up a newer scanner to it and it was an updated scanner. And now this, it freaked the system out, and now you got to do a zero-point reset. This is the only time this will work. Now, the only thing you're going to need for this is going to be two paper clips. And then what you're going to do with them is basically make them, straighten them out as best as possible. They don't have to be perfectly straight. This is all we're going to do. And you can use one paper clip turned into a U, but I found two paper clips is a heck of a lot easier to do it with this way. So... Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. First thing you want to do before you start this is make sure, number one, that the car is a nice level surface, that it's not on an incline or anything. Make sure the car is nice and a level surface. Also, make sure your steering wheel is straight. So make sure when you park the car, the steering wheel is nice and straight and flat. All right, now you're going to locate your OBD2 scanner, which is right underneath the kick panel on the left side of it. And it's right above your footrest, pretty much, where your left foot kind of rests when you're driving the vehicle. There should be a black cover. If it's, the black cover is not there, that's fine. You're going to locate pins 14 and 4. Now, pin 14 is the third one from the left on the top row, and pin 4 is the fourth one from the right on the bottom row. Once you do that, go ahead and insert your paper clips. Make sure they don't touch anything. And send, insert one first and then the other, and make sure they're not touching. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the ignition switch on to only the on position. Do not turn the car on. Just switch it over to the on position. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and touch the paper clip. You're gonna make it basically making a short. Do this four times within eight seconds. Once you do that, your ABS light should start flashing and your traction control or vehicle control light should go off. Turn the car off and then turn it back on again. Give it a second, about 14 seconds or so, about 10 seconds, and the lights should shut off. When that happened, within a two second span, go ahead and shut the light. The, the ignition back off and now before turning the car back on you want to make sure you touch the two paper clips again so cause this short make sure you touch the paper clips and then start up the car the vsc warning light and 
the ABS light will start to flash pretty quickly. Go ahead and turn the car off. Remove the paper clips and turn the car on and it should be done. Now you can turn the car on and test it. Put it in reverse or drive and start moving the car. If the lights come back on, you have to restart the procedure all over again. If they don't come back on, the reset procedure is done. All right, so that's it. That is that simple to do this reset procedure. And again, if there's a check engine light on with this, make sure you do the reset or fix of whatever issue the check engine light is. But for now, if this was your only issue, you are done. The reset, the zero point reset procedure is all completed and you can go on with your life. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.